Good morning. That was pretty good. Let me try one more thing. How about a go Bulls? Go Bulls! That's right. Today we make history. Today is this incredible launch. And do you realize that it was less than a year ago when we even talked about launching this, uni this new college? We talked about it because we knew it would make a difference, not only in our education for our students, but it would make a difference for our community, for our state, for our nation, and even globally. And that vision is what Arnie and Lauren have bought into, and with their passion and focus, they've made it come to reality. Thank you, Lauren and Arnie. You know, we're not afraid to go beyond the status quo and pursue new innovative ideas. And when we came up with this idea, the idea came to light because we have an existing hub of excellence here with our faculty, our students, and our staff who have really come together to say we have the expertise here, but it's spread out amongst, throughout the entirety of the university. And so our thought was, what if we brought them together, but we still had porous edges to this college so that it would still continue to infuse itself into every part of our university experience? That's what this college will bring to our students. It will prepare them for the wonderful careers that they will have. There's such an incredible need now with AI, cybersecurity, being the emerging technology which will change the world. And we have the ability to be the global leader in this area. So with that, I will tell you that we're excited. Um, we are looking for many, many opportunities to partner. One of the things that has been important to us is our partnership not only within our university, but outside of our university. So all of those that we currently work with in the business community and in industry, we will expand that. We are looking to form partnerships nationwide and beyond. This college changes everything. So again, I say to Arnie and Lauren, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. From the original Bellini Center here on campus, which I was so pleasured to be able to uh, open with you when I first came, I was still interim at the time, to this incredible announcement. Uh, you are changing the face of the University of South Florida. We could not be happier, and we will forever be grateful for your generosity, for your vision, and for your passion. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our provost, Prasant Mahapatra, who's going to come up and tell us a little bit about the mission and indeed how this will change everything for the university. Good morning, everyone. I'm pleased to have you all join in for this exciting announcement. Honestly, I cannot tell you how excited I am. You know, this has been a dream for the last one year. We had a very bold vision we wanted to leverage our strength in artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and computing, which, as President Law stated, was spread over and is currently spread over the campuses we have in our health campus also. We wanted to bring all of them together, create an epicenter for pursuing these challenging ideas and also educating the next generation of students, and that's what that's what generated this idea. And I still remember, Arnie, we had this two hours long conversation in the Bellini Center where we ironed out many of these details. So just one year later, you know, we have this beautiful college, the Bellini College of Artificial Intelligence, Cybersecurity, and Computing. And I really thank Arnie and Lauren for this support. Without your help, you know, we would not have reached this stage at such a short interval of time, just in one year. Artificial intelligence, or AI, and its widespread adoption can have both positive and negative impacts on our society and in the global domain also. And it depends on the data sets we use for learning, the associated cybersecurity measures. 
Similarly, cybersecurity can leverage a lot of benefits for AI. So as you can see, there is a symbiotic relationship between artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. And our goal is to integrate these two and leverage and create a unique space for the leaders of tomorrow, that is our students, those who will go out to the world, pursue this symbiotic relationship and make big wonders for the evolving world. And again, you know, advancing the workforce development, driving collaborative research that will address the national security issues as well as the challenges that our society face, those are the primary goals. If we can achieve those, you know, everything will be so successful for USF. And we, we are determined to make that happen. The college will also help us advance a billion dollar of research per year that we have a bold ambition for, for USF. And we will be probably within uh, one of the 25 universities in the entire nation to achieve that goal. And we are really doubling down on that bet with the establishment of this new college. So in addition to propelling the incredible work of our faculty, the multidisciplinary research impact that we make, the Bellini College, will provide a powerful experience for the students to develop the knowledge and skills to address the cutting edge demands and the fast evolving technology driven society. One of our goal is to make sure that all the students graduating from the Bellini College will have adequate experiential knowledge before they step into the world and the talent pipeline can be well exploited by the industry, both in Tampa Bay area and the entire state of Florida. Now, speaking of top talent, I would like to invite Brianna Dobler to come up and share her experience as our cybersecurity students. And you can see an example about our aspiration of the type of students we want to produce from the new Bellini College. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. As the provost mentioned, my name is Brianna Doibler, and I'm a junior here at USF studying cybersecurity. My introduction to cybersecurity was a bit unconventional. While most people discover it through classes or hobbies, I learned about it alongside my dad, who at the time was transitioning to the Army Cyber Command. Being the loving daughter that I am, I challenged him to see who could complete a Python programming course first. <laughs> I tapped out around 12%, uh, but looking back, that challenge set everything in motion. Like every fifth grader, I had some big, and at the time, very realistic dreams for myself. One of the things was constant, though. I was drawn to data privacy. What started as a silly competition with my dad quickly turned into a passion, ultimately leading me here to USF. And once I arrived, I found myself surrounded by opportunities I could have never imagined. As a transfer student in my first semester, I helped establish the Women in Cybersecurity chapter here at USF, growing it to over 200 members in less than two years while launching mentorship and shadowing programs, partnering with USFIT, and organizing workshops with industry leaders to support women pursuing careers in cybersecurity. Through CyberHerd, USF's competitive cybersecurity team, I worked with the team developing security assessment tools using AI and had the chance to attend CPTC Southeast Regionals, where we placed second amongst schools across the entire Southeast region. And with White Hatter Security Club, I've gained hands-on experience with both offensive and defensive cybersecurity. Beyond competitions and student organizations, though, I'm also involved in applied research. As a student researcher at USF's Institute of Applied Engineering, I work with an external company on optimizing object detection and classification models, exploring how machine learning can enhance accuracy and efficiency in real world applications. Each of these experiences has shaped my understanding of the field, but more importantly, they've reinforced something bigger, how invaluable a strong and a supportive community is to student success. And the truth is, these opportunities existed for me because I was at USF. That's why I believe this investment from USF and the generous support from the Bellinis is so important. Cybersecurity isn't just a major. It's an evolving field that demands interdisciplinary knowledge, 
research, and collaboration across multiple domains. Creating an entire college dedicated to artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and computing isn't just an expansion, it's a statement, a commitment to innovation and leadership in these domains. It means more specialized resources, faculty, and opportunities that will prepare students for industry that changes faster than you or I can blink. It's a bold move. But then again, people once questioned whether cybersecurity should even be its own degree, and look where we are now. USF is leading the way, and I have no doubt that other universities will soon follow. As for my future, I plan to continue in cybersecurity, focusing on risk assessment, compliance, and policy, bridging the gap between technical security challenges and strategic decision making. My goal is to help organizations not only implement strong security measures, but also understand why they're essential. I'm excited for what's ahead, not just for myself, but for my peers and for the future of digital innovation at USF. The steps we're taking now will define the future for digital innovation at USF, sorry. The steps we're taking now will define opportunities for students for years to come, and I'm incredibly grateful to be part of that journey. Thank you so much. All right, let's give Bree one more round of applause. Arnie, there's your cyber warrior right there of, of all the things that we talked about. Uh, it's really been an incredible honor over this last year to work with Arnie and Lauren on this historic gift. I remember some of our early conversations, uh, as the provost mentioned, in the room. And I told the provost after the first meeting, I said, be careful. I said, if you don't want somebody who's going to be super involved and have a passion about it, don't deal with Arnie because <laughs> he's not a silent investor. Uh, he certainly is somebody uh, who has a passion for this. You're going to hear about that in a few minutes. But I learned a lot sitting there listening to the two of them kind of go back and forth about the vision, not only for the college, but why this was so important. So I wrote a little bit of it down just to make sure uh, it got out there. Um, the Bellini's gift comes at a critical time and juncture as our country faces unprecedented wave of cyber attacks, AI driven threats, and global competition in digital security. The new Bellini College will directly address the nation's urgent cybersecurity workforce shortage while equipping America's digital defenses against the rapidly evolving threats of the AI era. Now all that came from Arnie. Uh, I just paraphrased it a little bit. But the inspiration behind his gift and why he wants to do that uh, is so incredible that we need to hear from the man himself. So let's bring him to the stage and welcome Arnie Bellini to the stage. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're not just launching a new college today, we are completing a world-class cybersecurity ecosystem right here in Tampa Bay. For years, Tampa Bay has been on the rise as a cybersecurity powerhouse. We have MacDill Air Force Base, home to the United States Central Command and Special Operations, the nerve centers of our national defense. We have Cyber Florida fostering cybersecurity education and innovation throughout Florida. We have a growing network of cybersecurity companies, venture capital investments, and a vast talent pool eager to drive the future of this industry right here in Tampa Bay. But something has been missing. What we've needed is a world-class institution that anchors Tampa Bay's leadership in artificial intelligence and cybersecurity, one that educates fuels innovation, drives economic growth, and secures America's digital future. That is exactly what we are creating with this new college. This is the defining investment that solidifies Tampa Bay as the nation's leader in cybersecurity powered by artificial intelligence. And if we get AI right, it will unlock precedented, unprecedented innovation, efficiency, and economic growth. It will drive the next wave of high-tech jobs, empower industries, and solidify America's geopolitical strength and economic power for the next 200 years. However, none of these innovations will matter if we can't secure them. America is finally securing its physical borders. Thank God. 
but our digital borders are under attack every nanosecond of every day. Without cybersecurity, our AI breakthroughs, computing power, and economic progress are exposed to disruption, theft, and sabotage. This is why cybersecurity isn't just a necessity, it's the foundation for our digital future here in the United States of America. The Bellini College will fuel high-paying, high-tech jobs, ensuring that talent trained here stays here. It will give the robust cybersecurity organizations in Tampa Bay a pipeline of top-tier talent, driving economic growth, and cementing Tampa Bay's role as America's cybersecurity hub. Five years ago, I pledged 70,000 high-paying, high-tech jobs to Tampa Bay as my way of saying thank you to the community where I was able to build ConnectWise, a powerful $1.5 billion high-tech company. That wasn't just a number, it was a commitment to action. And today, at the University of South Florida, this new college is the final component of an ecosystem that makes Tampa Bay the center of excellence for cybersecurity. I also believe in a concept that I like to refer to as proactive capitalism. It's a model where those who have succeeded don't just sit back, but reinvest in the future of their community and country. Wealth isn't just for accumulation, it's for action. Today, we're taking action. We're investing in the next generation of innovators, in America's security, and in our competitive edge in artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. This is how we keep America strong, not by waiting, but by leading. The Bellini College of AI, Cybersecurity and Computing is the final piece that transforms Tampa Bay into the epicenter of cybersecurity innovation. We have the military command centers, we have the corporate investments, we have the talent, and now we have the educational backbone to bring it all together. This isn't just about what we're doing today, it's about what we're building for the next 200 years. Tampa Bay's future is secure, and Lauren and I and the entire Bellini family are here to make sure of it. In fact, we're so sure of it that not only are we committing the $40 million to jumpstart this college, but we're also asking you to participate. So, we're calling this the Bellini Cyber Challenge. We, we are asking everyone to invest in this university. And for every dollar that you invest, the Bellini family will invest a dollar. And we will do that all the way up to a $10 million set of donations. We love this university. Uh, my wife graduated from here with our first son on her hip at graduation. That was the cutest thing I had ever seen in my life. Uh, uh, our son graduated from the ABA program. Our other son has taken classes here as well. We're very much anchored to the University of South Florida and we're so happy that we're able to give back to the community and to Tampa Bay, an amazing place to live, grow a family, and build a business. Thank you very much. I want to thank everybody for coming out to this historic event this morning. Uh, I think you heard the why, uh, the passion, uh, the sky's the limit for this new college and for the University of South Florida. We're going to ask the platform party to come up, take a few pictures, media, there'll be some availability with the Bellinis here in a few short minutes, but thank you for coming out today, and as the President always says, go Bulls! Go Bulls.